hello friends welcome to share market friend again uh, on this channel i make a lot of videos based on finance mutual fund share market and particular stocks etc today i am going to uh, share my understanding related to one thematic mutual fund that is sbi magnum global fund okay uh, i am going to share my understanding related all data on its uh, sbi's website if you go on its website click on home uh, click on equity schemes and then you can get the option of SBI Magnum Global Fund actually I uh, personally don't uh, take that much interest in the mutual fund etc but still I am trying to explore few options or understandings related to mutual fund okay this mutual fund is basically managed by Mr. Anup Upadhyay who is a manager of this fund since May 2018 actually this fund is in existence from 1994 so it's very old fund if you want to see details of Mr. Anup Upadhyay, you can check here. He is he joined SBI Mutual Fund from 2007. He has completed his BTEC honors from IIT Kharagpur, completed PG PG Diploma in Management from IIM Lucknow. He is also charter holder of CF Institute. And prior to uh, SBI Mutual Fund, he was serving in TCS company. His total experience is 11 years, and he is also managing apart from this scheme that is SBI Technology Apple. Fund, SBI Magnum Multicap Fund, SBI Magnum Global Fund, it is this. So, apart from this, he is managing two other open ended funds. Okay, so this uh, mutual fund, particularly this global fund, belongs to equity category. Uh, it has around 3500 crores of crores rupees of asset under management, and its benchmark is Nifty MNC. Okay, uh, I have put here made. Uh, five years uh, into filter for return of five years last five years is 17 uh, percent that's quite good return compared to FD and etc though we cannot compare them but it's kind of good good result that I think okay so let's see what is the fund overview basically in what this company invests actually as the name suggests this company basically invests in MNCs those are really good and performing or good future having companies here is a few here are few criteria for invest selecting companies uh, companies whose major share holding is by a foreign entity then Indian companies in, in, it also invests in Indian companies which has 50% turnover from regions outside India also foreign listed companies so this is the criteria for investing in particular company okay I'll check its historical NAV for last five years it shows graph of historical NAV for direct plan growth SBI Magnum Global Fund so this is a graph for uh, last five years NAV okay I'll show you some documents related to uh, this fund okay so his his uh, uh, list of uh, all the documents mentioned here uh, they have annual report in which you can find comparison of this thematic mutual fund compared to other mutual fund if you want to check it it's a uh, quite large mutual uh, report particularly if you want to check it uh, comparison to other mutual funds of SBI you can check it I have clicked on this SBI Magnum global fund and it opens here it is a simple consolidated overall view of this report here is the basic uh, few recent details uh, then uh, here are related things it has exit load if you withdraw or exit from this mutual fund within 12 months that is below one year and after one year if you exit it has no uh, exit load and it has uh, various SIP options minimum is in minimum investment is 5000 rupees okay that is mostly common for most of mutual funds okay here's here's the few important uh, data related to mutual fund actually it is a very handy uh, data it is derived by various uh, uh, financial scientists you can call those were named after them that is sharp pair ratio beta and then standard deviation uh, I, I hope you I, ho I consider that you understand these ratios actually whenever you are investing in mutual fund uh, it is a common uh, thing that people check this ratios and uh, someday I will try to make one video on these ratios also so currently I am assuming that you understand these ratios it has portfolio turnover ratio of uh, 0.7 Sharpe ratio of 0.12 okay now jump to the portfolio that is the most important aspect of this SBI global uh, MNC mutual fund it has uh, I will cover 
टॉप टेन होल्डिंग ऑफ दिस म्यूचुअल फंड दो हज़ार कोलगेट पालमोलिव इज एट परसेंट मोर नियर अबाउट हिंदुस्तान यूनिलिवर इज सिक्स परसेंट डी वीज लैबोरेटरीज इज अराउंड फोर टू फाइव परसेंट मारुति सुजुकी इज फोर एंड हाफ परसेंट अराउंड ग्राइंडवेल नॉर्टन लिमिटेड फोर एंड हाफ परसेंट इन्फोसिस फोर एंड हाफ शाफलर शाफलर इंडिया लिमिटेड रिसेंटली फैग एंड एक्सेट्रा ऑल दोज प्रोडक्ट्स कंसोलिडेटेड इन टू शाफलर सो इट इज़ अराउंड फोर परसेंट ए बी बी इंडिया अराउंड फोर परसेंट प्रॉक्टर एंड कैम्बल हाइजीन एंड हेल्थ केयर दैट इज़ अराउंड थ्री एंड हाफ परसेंट फोर परसेंट देन ब्रिटानिया इंडस्ट्रीज वेस्ट लाइफ डेवलपमेंट क्लैक्जो स्मिथ लाइन कंज्यूमर अतुल लिमिटेड नेस्ले इंडिया ऑल इन द रेंज ऑफ थ्री टू फोर परसेंटेज अदर स्टॉक्स ऑल्सो यू कैन चेक इन टू इट दोज आर एक्चुअली वेल नोन एम एन सीज लिस्टेड और वर्किंग इन इंडिया ओके सो इफ यू सी द सेक्टर वाइज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑल द कंपनीज इट बेसिकली वॉट आई अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज दैट इट बेसिकली इन्वेस्ट इन कंज्यूमशन रिलेटेड स्टॉक्स एंड दैट इज अगेन गुड कंपनीज विद कॉरपोरेट गवर्नेंस गुड कंपनीज विद परफॉर्मेंस एक्सेट्रा सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन इन्वेस्टिंग इन कंपनीज विच आर लाइक एम एन सीज विच आर बेसिकली हैज गुड फ्यूचर Uh, into there then i think you can consider for this stock this is not a professional advice this is just my opinion or understanding related to this mutual fund i'm sharing with you so it has basically 35% around into consumer goods and then it went around 20% into industrial manufacturing and 10% and below into pharma and auto oil so basically it is classified you can it is diversified into consumer goods uh, domestic and industrial and pharma and automobile on the basis of uh, market capital it has basically around uh, 62% into mid cap and large cap and 30% and uh, 30% is mostly into small cap so it is uh, well diversified uh, good companies having a mutual fund okay so let's check its past performance actually it doesn't indicate about future but you can consider it for just just get, getting some uh, view about says past okay so it has given around uh, 17 to 18% for last 5 years where benchmark has given little more compared to last 5 years of sbi magnum global fund if you comp- compare to s&p bse index it has given much better compared to index so if you want to restrict you in restrict your investment into particular mnc stocks and you don't want to take risk of uh, investing in other companies uh, in the era of when we are facing uh, delhi we are getting news of related to corporate governance related to uh, loans etc kind of thing so i think uh, that is a front where mnc is perform very well so if you are considering in that aspect i think uh, personally also i will I would like to invest in SBI Magnum Global Fund. So these are all my personal opinions and understanding. This is not a professional request. Please refer the disclaimer. If you have any queries or uh, you want to say anything, you can comment below the video. If you like it, you can click on the like and share. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for listening, Share Market Fund.